glove, you may want like the fuzzy side of the Velcro on your glove and put the pokey side on all the stuff. It's not going to do you any good if like, oh, this is pokey and this is pokey. You have to kind of think through it. So put the fuzzy side on the glove because there, who knows where this is going, and then put the pokey side on the instrument or on the item. And even like on the bottom of, you know, a wood block, they can just stick it on there and they can, that may even work for preschoolers. I may put this in. Okay, so those are some, um, yep, mallet, adapter, custom bow, pro board. Hair ties and for scarves and ribbons. And I saw some shower curtain rings over here. And so this was, I just was enlightened to this like a few years ago. Just hair ties on the end of a scarf and they can hold on to it or put it on their wrist so they don't even have to have a grip issue. And they make these, again, hair ties and a ribbon. Who knew? So someone has made this or I bet somebody's mom in the church can can look you up. Do I need a mom? <laughs> <laughs> this is just like, it's like scrunchies. Oh, but it scrunchies. Has a, yeah, hair scrunchies. They, are they sewn on? They're sewn on. And you, oh. you know, we bought it this way. Um, but they're, yeah, but you know, you can buy hair scrunchies. Yeah, like the one, that? this was just in the closet yeah, before. Yeah. We can talk to <laughs> <laughs> or yes, I would. That's cool. I would. For those of us who don't sell, I would think about that. Or yeah, because Velcro's gonna come off. Snapping is that still something you have to sew? Fire monster. Yeah, 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 yeah fire monster. There is a correct term on your church. I'm trying to yeah. apply this to public schools. So. Yeah, and or hot glue, hot glue. Like that. Again, I opened my closet when I got here. I was like, oh, yeah, that would have helped me out a lot. So that's, and also storing it on a coat hanger. That was mind blowing as well. Like, what? So hopefully those will be yeah. um, Other physical tools. What? Oh, if I go up, it goes all the way to the beginning. I understand. Other physical tools. Specialized instruments and instrument holders. So they make, I brought a few samples, the triangle stand. Okay, this is great whether the student is with it or not with it, because I can keep it in one spot and we can rotate. Or, um, you know, this, again, if I had my little mallet puff or my Velcro thing, they can play. This helps all students to be successful. So it's a triangle. Music is going to be your friend, and if you call them and say, "I only have this much, like I only have one hundred twenty-five dollars. I need this much stuff. How much can you give me?" They, they massage it to give you as much as they can. Um, another adaptive instrument that I found is helpful, even with regular instruments, the clave holder. No one holds the clave correctly. But this is just, <laughs> and this is maybe two dollars. And you don't even need a whole set of clothes because you don't need 20 discs on most. <laughs> you just need like three. <laughs> Ten bucks, you're, you're set for life. So those, they make instruments, they make pitch instruments that are designed for students in wheelchairs. So this is called Easy Cushion, and it, it's flat on the bottom, and it can rest on the wheelchair arms. They also make little tables that you can roll up. Um, but this has been, with our Open Musical friends, we do have one who's in a wheelchair, and this has been successful because the other students can be on the regular one, and he can still participate. He doesn't have to get out of his chair. He doesn't like it. Is that like the letters E Z K? E, yes, E A S Y C U S S I O N. And here is, um, I mean, this is now the this is the little blockish feel, but you can't take the bars off. But that's okay in some cases, and some people find it an advantage that the mallets are attached, and some people find it a disadvantage. But it has a nice sound for what it is. So easy cushion. E A S Y C U S S I O N. That's so cool. Isn't that I mean 
are really helpful. And what do I mean by manipulatives? Things they can touch. Things they can touch. So it could be, um, you know, just like you're pointing to the music and you're following along. Or if you, any of these visuals, if they kind of have their own and they could touch, that's a manipulative. Um, visual aids as well, like, like those pointers and tracking tools. You can use a mallet head to point with. I brought some flashcards. Now, it's important to point because if you don't point, there's gonna, your, your highs and brights are just going to automatically know. So you have to track everything because you're, this is not only for students with disabilities, but lows and slows and just kind of mediocres. They need to know where we are. Highlighters are another great tool because they can see it. Something else um, with the tracking tool, and this is movement related. I did have some like yellow magic gloves and I couldn't find them. But even with my movements, some I would put on my magic gloves and they could, that gave them something to see because my white skin against this white wall is not really helping them. So magic gloves for movement can help. Emotional behavioral students, um, I'm gonna turn the page. They make these things called sh weighted shoulder wraps and, or little weighted lap blankets. You have to, sometimes like, <laughs> and they just need a little touch on their shoulder. If you could just, they're fine. You just need to put your hand on their shoulder the whole time. You have to be aware with the weighted shoulder wraps and the little lap blankets. It becomes a toy after a while. So use it until they're settled and then take it away. Because you also want to structure their learning where they can do more on their own. So that's something that can be handy. And my public school friend, what's your name? Emma. Emma. Listen, your special education teacher may have some of this stuff. They make little vests, like um, weighted vests as well. And that has pockets and you can put different amounts of bigger bag stuff in it. So before you go crazy spending your money on this, you should talk to your special ed team and see if they, what they have, and if they have a mom that can sew those ribbons on. <laughs> and show, you know. Because those parents just want their kids to be included. That's something else, you don't have to do that. Okay, puppets, um, those, that's another really good tool, and we're gonna do this when we get to our individual hellos. Sometimes students with emotional and behavioral issues, they don't give you eye contact, but they will to a puppet but the puppet can't look like a human. It needs to be an animal puppet or like a, it could be a Muppet puppet, but not like I'm a firefighter, you know, not those puppets. And if you think back to Mr. or those of you who are old enough, Mr. Rogers, how he always had like the tiger and he would whisper and talk to the tiger. That is actual, there's some research behind that with emotional, students with emotional and behavioral disorders. And you can talk to the puppet, can you believe want to hurt you and you're whatever you need to talk about that could be a detracting behavior or a hello or a greeting and while you want to get I'm gonna, I'm gonna, while you may want to give the student eye contact you know hello da, 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 you don't want to be right in front you know give the student eye contact so you can see them but then just take a moment away and just step aside so maybe that was a little squishies just again just something um Sometimes you have like students who STEM, S-T-I-M, STEM, I think is the idea. And sometimes even just a, a squishy can, can help reduce some behaviors. So that's, hopefully those will, did anybody get a nugget in that? <laughs> yes, victory. Okay, this is a picture in the middle of a wobble stool. And I haven't had success with the wobble stool. It becomes a, a toy but I would let my helper sit on the wobble stool and they, that worked well. So I don't know, that may be. And the headphones, sometimes our students come to us in musical with headphones and that helps them participate. So here are some techniques. You're gonna have, anytime you can have an adult or a peer model be a buddy with your student with a disability, it is a really good thing. If you're gonna have peer buddies like that are in the same class, you should rotate that buddy in and out. If 
here, you ready? This is something I learned, yes. This is something I learned recently. So if you're doing movement, it used to be you do everything like hand over hand, but if you do movement stuff, hand over hand is easy, but if you're doing barred instruments, you want to be under because their hands are gonna flop naturally, so that gives them some autonomy, but if you're under, you can support it, and you can, oh, hey, 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 Jen. <laughs>
they have to hold hands and go out. It's that concrete abstract. They haven't figured it out yet. It kind of happens some second grade-ish or pre-COVID it was second grade. I don't know. <laughs> so poly spot, if you have carpet, they make little Velcro, color Velcro called zip spots. And um, that works out. I've seen that in a lot of classrooms as well. So that works out. Now let's pretend, uh -huh. okay, everyone find a friend and get partner, go back with your partner. And Hero, you're gonna be my, my student. Oh, no, no, you can be with your new partner. You can be with your new partner, it's fine. Where are you going? I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. Okay, so we're gonna have, I'm gonna meet, we're gonna be a group of three. So if we, oh, you need a friend. Okay, you need a friend? Yeah, we're good, we're good. Oh, great, yeah, thank you. Oh, okay, okay, so if you have, two things, if you have a student with a, a disability that, um, I'm specifically thinking about this student named Henry who comes to Open Musical, and he's autistic, and he's just like, oh, it's like this, I'll do it, but I don't want to, kind of, oh. he's pretty nonverbal, um, and so you can have a buddy, so yeah, Jackie could link elbows, okay, or if you didn't, this would be a time, okay, so we, then I would have to be in the circle, and we would do it, and then I would just kind of hustle around and do a little bunch of stuff. Can we do hello, my friend, hello one time? And I'm going to be, yeah. yeah, this is a hand over hand. Is there a volunteer who wouldn't mind um, being a group of three, but not with my, my friend? Who would mind? Oh, you're going to be great. Um, Charlotte, would you come with me? I think you're fine. Okay, y'all can work it out on how to be a group of three? Yeah. Okay, perfect. All right. And, I'm, and so I'm going to come here. This is what I'm going to do. And then the walking is the, is the, uh, you just give her a
whether they're verbal or nonverbal, the chance to be included. So pathway cards. Oh, you that. Oh, um, another one. Is that a fire yeah. oven thing? Yes, that is. But if you go to teachers, pay teachers, mm -hmm. teachers have done tons of those. I had a rail.
maybe you have littles or maybe you have a sweet enough group that you could play instrument of the day. Who maybe in your elementary music classroom always saw the bass xylophone and never got to play it? Yeah. Instrument of the day is going to be your answer. So if the instrument of the day is the bass xylophone, you're going to set it up however you want. And uh, this is nice to do one at a time. You could have like a wheel where you pick a number between one and five, but we'll just pick five. Everybody, what's the number between one and five? Five. Okay, great. Because once I figure out the higher the number, that means the more times I get to play. So we're going to have, um, all right, we're going to have these five friends right here. You're going to put your papers down. You're going to stand up. We're going to come around here. And yep, 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 yep. You're going to come around here. I have another mouse. And I just don't know where it went.
But if, if it also is it like that and just throw it over and you know, totally. don't touch anybody. Yeah, then you're not dying at home. No, you're doing it. So maybe that's a strategy that can help you. Some other um, instrument prep ideas. Okay, Vero, this is your cue. I learned this from a workshop and it was life changing. Everyone's going to get two chopsticks and this can be like, you can always use body percussion as a prep. You can, um, but chopsticks are a great rhythm tool and you can still hear the recorded music when it's playing. You can tap it on your chairs and we can do patterns. Do, 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 do. You can even use chopsticks on the barred instruments. You can also use the mallets backwards. So if you want, if you needed to scaffold it. So we're gonna, everybody just freeze, I have more chopsticks if we run out. So um, everyone just go ahead and freestyle on your chopsticks. This is the instrument of the day. And then I knew I had overplanned, but 
that's just the public school teacher in me. I'm always an over planner. So that is going to conclude our session. I thank you so much for coming, and I hope you got a nugget. Yeah. A nugget. Yeah.